This is problem 12 from chapter 4, and we have 125 voltage source here, 1 ohm resistor here, 6 ohms, 2 ohms, 12, 1, 24, and another 125 volt. Um, it's a DC model of a residential system, power line system, and um, we want to find the line currents I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, and I6 for part A. And then for part B, we want to show that power developed is equal to power dissipated. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is choose the ground or the reference node. Well, typically, I'm so you're probably used to picking the um, the reference node to be your ground, which would be usually at the bottom node, and it would work. But it would be really hard if you chose your reference node to be right there. So what you have. Um, it, like I said, it, it would work, but it would be, um, oh, mm, I don't know if it's harder, but just not as easy as if you notice that 125 volts here and 125 volts here, the voltage potential difference there is zero, so this is a very natural place to place the ground or the reference node, even though, you know, it's sideways, you can think of it as tipping it like that, and then it would make sense because the everything the voltage potential along this node right here is zero. Everything's 125 volts. Um, so, so that's where I'm going to pick my ground to be. Um, we want to find essential nodes. Um, oh, and the requirement for this problem is that we have to use the node voltage method to find these currents. Um, so we want to find essential nodes. And remember, an a node is where two circuit elements meet. An essential node is where three circuit elements meet. So, for example, this would be a node, but an essential node would be right here, which is this circuit element, this circuit element, and this circuit element come together. I'm going to take that and call that my V1. I have an essential node here, V2, and I have an essential node here, V3. And um, that is everything. Okay, so now we do our node voltage. Node voltage at V1 will give us V1 minus 125 over 1 ohm plus, we're still basically summing the currents, V1 minus V3 over um, 6 ohms plus v, V1 minus I'm going to use this over here because I'm out of space. V1 minus V3. Oops, my bad. This should be V2. This should be V2. V1 minus V3 over 24. That's equal to zero. That's my first equation. My second set of equation is node voltage at V2. Okay, so that gives me V2 minus V1 over 6 plus V2 minus the ground, which is 0. V2 over 2 plus V2 minus, uh, minus V3 over 12, that's equal to 0. And my last set of no voltage equations and V at V3, we have V3, V3 minus negative 125 is uh, over 1 ohm plus V3 minus V2 over 12 plus V3 minus V1 over 24, those branch currents must equal zero. So now I have my three equations. I'm going to rewrite them in matrix form. OK. V1, V2, V3 equals. and. I'm not going to do any uh, simultaneous equations because um, you, that's what you have a calculator for. So in the first equation, 
the coefficients of our V1 is for here, we have 1. Second place, we have 1, 6. In third position, we have 1, 4. 1, 20. V2, I have negative 1, 6. V3, I have negative 1, 24. And do I have any, I, do I have any constants? I have a constant here, which I'm going to bring over here via positive 125. Okay, that's equation 1. Equation 2, I have a V1 right here that's negative 1, 6. I have a, for V2, I have 1, 6 plus 1 half plus 1 twelfth. For V3, I have negative 1 twelfth. And I have no constants, so I have a zero there. And in my third equation for V1, I have negative 1 24th. V2, I have negative 1 12th. V3, I have uh, 1 plus 1 12th plus 1 24th. That is equal to, this is positive 125, which I bring over here, it becomes negative 1 25. Okay, now, let me just verify that my matrix is correct because it's so easy to make these things. 1 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 24, so negative 1, 6, negative 1, 24, plus 1, 25, negative 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, half, 1, 12, negative 1, 1, 0. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so when you enter that into your calculator, your scientific calculator, the values that you should come up with R V1 is 101.24 volts. V2 is equal to 10.66 volts. V3 is equal to negative 106.57 volts. Okay, so. I have you erased the original schematic, but you have it in front of you. So you are able to remember, you should know that this, uh, well, I'll put it out. So this is going to be the 125 volts, 125 minus 101.24 over 1 ohm, which is 20. Put that into your calculator, you will get 23.76. I2 is uh, V2 over 2, which is 10.66 over 2, which is 5.33 amps. I3 is negative 106.57 minus negative 125 over 1, which will give you 18.43 amps. I4, I1, I2, I3, I4 is 101.24 minus 10.66. That is equal to 15.10 amps. I5 is 10.66 minus negative 106.57, 12, which is equal to 9.77 amps. And I6 is 101.24 minus negative 106.57. That is over 24. So I6 is going to be 8.66 amps. Okay. That's part A. Part B is to show that power, um, 
power developed equals power um, consumed. So power developed. The first which is going to be the sum of the power developed. It's going to be power of the first 125 volts plus power developed by the second 125 volts. That's just P125 times current uh, going through the first one, which is the 23, the I1, 23.76, that should give you 2970 watts. And then the second one is, and then that's added to, plus the second one, which is 25, times the I3, which is 1843. That gives you 23. 03.75 and add those together. Total power developed is 5273.75 watts. That's power developed. Now, power dissipated is going to be um, the power that's dissipated by each of the resistors. So that's just going to be P is equal to I squared R. We have all our I's. So that's going to be 20 from, I'm going to go through the, um, each of the resistors. The first, the one ohm resistor is 23, 23.76 squared times 1 plus 15.10 squared times 6 plus 8.66 squared times 24 plus 5.33 squared times 2 plus 9.77 squared times 12 plus 18.43 squared times 1. When you add all that up, you come up with 52 74.4 watts. And, oops, this one should be 52, 52.73.75. And they're essentially the same. There's round off error, so, but within margin of error, power dissipated equals power generated. And that is the answer to problem 412.